GP510 and GP530 use Bluetooth technology to connect Bluetooth PC or mobile with common telephone or PBX. In this video, we are going to show you how to connect GP530 to PC, and then we can dial out or answer Skype call by table phone. Let's install a GP530. First, screw the antenna onto the start. Second, connect phone and the phone jack of GP530 with telephone wire. Third, plug in the power cord. After the power plug, we can check the LED status. On will light, BT will show the Bluetooth pairing status, and run will show the device status. Now we are going to set up GP530. First, we need to get into the setting mode. We dial star star pound pound and a four digit password, then pound. We will hear do re mi, it means we can start to do some setting. And then we dial star star 2601 pound to set up the pairing target is PC. We will hear a beep sound, it means the setting is correct. Execute the Bluetooth driver with VoIP function. We recommend using Blue Sole. Select Support VoIP here. Then click Bluetooth Device Discovery. It will start to search for Bluetooth device. Now double click on GP530 and select the Bluetooth headset icon on the right side. Some PC may ask for pair code. If that's so, enter the default code 0000. And we will see the no sign appears. It means our PC has already paired to GP530 successfully. We may also hear the table phone ring in the same time. Next, execute your Skype on PC and select Tool, Options and the audio setting. Change the microphone and speaker to Bluetooth SCO audio. Afterward, we can use this Skype account Jampro Line 1 to dial out or answer by table phone. First, we do the test to receive Skype incoming call by table phone. We use this account called Yoko to call to Jampro Line 1. It will ring on both PC and table phone, so we can directly pick up the table phone. Second, we do a task to dial out to another Skype account by table phone. If we just dial pure number, Skype will consider it a Skype out. The test we are going to do is to call from Skype to Skype, not to Skype out. A Skype account must begin with a letter, but we cannot dial the letter directly from our table phone. So we have two methods to save a Skype account into speed dial group. Then we can directly dial the speed dial number to dial out. The first way is to save the last incoming call to speed dial. In a previous test, Koyoko has just called us, so it is our last incoming call. Now we are going to set Koyoko as speed dial number 1. We get into the setting mode again, then press star star 9401 pound. 01 means the speed dial number 1. The Skype account Koyoko has already saved as speed dial number 1. When we want to call to Koyoko, we can just dial star one pound and it will dial to Koyoko. The second way is to use ASCII code to dial number and it will translate the number into letter. For example, the Skype account is Koyoko. We check the ASCII code table and translate it into the number like this. 
We would like to set Koyoko as speed down number 10. So after get into the setting mode, we dial star star 92, 10, 75, 79, 89, 79, 67, 79, and pound. 10 means the speed down number 10. We will hear a beep sound, and then we can hand up the phone to end the setting. When we want to call to Koyoko, we can just dial star 10 pound, and it will dial to Koyoko. Mm -hmm.